Hi everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create uh, or add a hover effect um, within Adobe XD. So like, for example, something like this. Whee! Okay, so let's get started. So let me first create this shape, like this button shape. Um, and while I'm doing that, um, I do just want to say once you kind of figure this all out, you can pretty much create a hover effect on anything. Um, and that's pretty nice. So, okay, so let's have this button here. I'm going to group that. Okay, so once you have your element together or your initial element, we're going to select it and then go here to component and here you can see that it says default state from here we're going to click that plus sign again and hit hover state you can change the name if you want to um, whatever you prefer okay so now you can see that um, there's like one is selected with the blue um, and you want to make sure if you're making any changes to a hover state that it's actually selected and like it's highlighted. Okay, so now that I know that it is, I'm gonna make some updates. So let's change the background color. Um, and I think this one already had the arrow, so I'm just gonna pull this because I don't wanna do it again. Okay, so let me add that in here. Move this a little bit. Okay, so now you have this, uh, the hover state, and if you click default you can see the differences so if you want to test this out you're not going to be able to test it on like the regular page you're going to have to preview it so go to desktop preview and now just hover over it and you can see that hover effect we okay awesome so let's move on to doing um, an image it all works pretty much the same way so let's do like a square drag and drop the item there or the photo okay so if this is all I want as um, to hover over I'm going to hit uh, component hit the plus sign again and select hover state so now I'm just going to copy and paste this because I know like that's what I want and then I'm going to add an overlay, let's say a 50. Again, we can see the differences when we select either the hover or the default state. Now let's preview this. And, ooh, that looks so nice. Okay, so that's how you add um, like the hover effect. Um, you can keep adding more. Um, again, this one had like this text. When you are making any changes though, you should want to make sure that you are on the correct state because if not, it's going to show up incorrectly and that's not what you want. Okay, so, and also when you are previewing it, make sure that it's on the default state because it's not going to work the opposite way. So let's try that again. And we, okay, cool. So that is how you make or add um, hover effects to um, your Adobe XD file. Um, once you like, you can pretty much do this on any kind of design option, like element um, and yeah, like what whatever kind of you need for your own design, you can pretty much make it work with now that you know how to. Okay, well, I hope that this was helpful. Um, please don't forget to subscribe um, click the bell for notifications, check out dragonflyavenue.com, um, and yeah, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.